There's an estimated 2.2 billion people in the world who play games today, which speaks to the absolute scale and reach of the medium and shows how ubiquitous it is as a form of contemporary culture. But video game design is one of the most fascinating and interesting sort of design fields of our time. And as a museum of design, this is the perfect space for us to really be going into detail and making visible the creation and craft that goes into creating video games. We look at video games from a number of different um, approaches, and you know, one of them is the is looking at just the design process and look, picking out different elements of design that relate to different titles, and really exploring those in detail from um, the uh, the illustrations and notebooks through to concept art, through to uh, digital prototypes. But also we explore uh, the DIY hacker maker creations that people are creating and sharing in in clubs and social situations, and also the way that the player can explore um, uh, fan art, for instance, or, or create communities online. And you know, there's, there's so many ways that you can interact and be creative with video games. Just uh, is this wonderful tool for being able to um, give the player ways. Important vital cultural medium that's relevant to everyone. Pursuing these, and then, and then their body like flops to the floor, and you know those are fun games, uh, but they can be quite different. Obviously, it's, it's really it's a complicated question, right? In some ways, it's an extension of what we talked about. You you think you're but as I said, it's a political statement. Uh, one of my favorite things to look for in games is uh, bad examples of Arabic or. We have examples of games that deal with uh, the experience of racism or uh, games that look at the, um, the, the lived experience of, of LGBTQ lives as well. And it's, you know, it's, they're, they're a fascinating medium in that sense. We chose to look at video games as a contemporary medium and specifically looking at the design of video games from the mid 2000s to the present day. And the reason why we've identified that specific period is in the mid 2000s, you have a whole host of technological catalysts 
from smartphones to broadband to social media, all of which has had a radical impact on the way that games are designed, the way that they're discussed, and the way that they're played. As such, this show is really highlighting groundbreaking works from designers, creators, and players that are really pushing back against the boundaries that some of our perceptions about what video games are and what they can be.